What we're going to do is number five and number six from the PERT practice test. So for number five, they want me to solve for x. And I have this big, long equation. And all I'm going to do is start plucking away at it. I'm going to distribute this five, so that's going to give me 15. And then I'm going to distribute the five again. And five times negative four x, well, that's going to give me negative 20x equal sign. Nothing much I can do with the 7, so that's just going to follow down. And now here comes the big mistake a lot of people make in mathematics is distributing this negative across the quantity. I need to distribute that negative across to the 4 and to the negative x. So negative times 4 is negative 4. You can imagine it's also a negative 1 in front of there. And the negative 1 times negative x is going to give me positive x. Now I have uh, an equation with variables on opposite sides. One of the things I prefer to do, it just makes it a little bit more convenient in my perspective, is to do the opposite of the smaller variable. And negative 20 is a lot smaller than positive 1x. So I'm going to do the opposite of negative 20x. So I'm going to add 20x to both sides. And once I add 20x to both sides, that'll get me a variable on only one side. These are going to simplify or cancel out. The 15 falls down equals just the 7. And uh, 7 minus 4. And 20 x plus x, well, that's going to give me plus 21x. I could combine like terms while I'm here. The 7 minus 4, that's going to give me a 3. So this is 15 equals 3 plus 21x. Now I only have a variable on one side. Some people like to call this a cover-up method. I'm going to cover up this 21x and do the opposite of plus 3. So the opposite of plus 3 is subtract 3 from both sides of the equation. And then that's going to give me 12 equals 21x. Opposite of multiplying by 21 is divide both sides by 21. And this gives me a fraction that I need to simplify. 12 over 21. 12 over 21. So x equals 12 over 21. Let me see. I believe a 3 goes into both of these. So 3 goes into 12 four times. And 3 goes into seven, 21 seven times. And that matches up with one of the choices from the PERT multiple choice practice test. And I believe that would be choice C. For number six here, we're asked to multiply this binomial times this binomial. Um, if you know me, the first thing I like to do when I'm multiplying binomials, or a binomial times a trinomial, or a trinomial times a trinomial, is I like to set up this Punnett square. So what I'm going to do is take this z plus 3 fifths and stack it up on top of the Punnett. And I want to take the z minus 3 fifths and I'm going to put that on the vertical. So I have a z minus 3 fifths over here. And I'm doing the same thing as FOIL. I'm just doing it in a little bit more of a graphically organized sort of way. What's z times z? That would be first. That's z squared. And then the outer would be z times negative 3 fifths. So what's z times negative 3 fifths? Well, that's going to give me negative z. 3 fifths. For number 6 from the PERT practice test, it asks me to multiply this binomial times its conjugate, this binomial. And if you know me, you know when I multiply binomials or a binomial times a trinomial, I like to set up a Punnett square. So here's my Punnett. Some people call it the box method. And all I'm going to do is stack this z plus 3 fifths on the top, and the z minus 3 fifths on the vertical. And then what I'm going to do is basically foil it. 
So z times z first, well, that, that's z times z here. That gives me z squared. And then outer would be z times negative 3 fifths. So negative 3 fifths times z. Well, that gives me a negative 3 fifths z. And then the inner would be 3 fifths times z, or z times 3 fifths for my opponent. That's 3 fifths z. Notice these are going to cancel out. And then my last, that would be 3 fifths times negative 3 fifths, 3 fifths times negative 3 fifths. So negative 3 times negative 3, that's negative 9. And then 5 times 5, well, that's going to give me 25. So once I combine like terms inside this punnet, these are going to cancel. That's going to give me a final answer of z squared minus 9 25ths. And let's see if that lines up with any of our choices from the multiple choice section. So I have z minus 3 fourths, no, z, 2z, and there it is, z squared minus 9 25ths.